Hello YouTube, uh, this is Aviation Blue Tech coming to you with another unboxing video. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, going to be showing um, a quick review of six models that I recently um, uh, received. Um, two were from the previous video that I didn't get a chance to uh, uh, to go over, and um, Delta Seven Six Seven. I just I. I got after the release uh, I decided to get it and three that I just received today so uh, let's uh, let's get this video started okay first we have a uh, Viva Airbus uh, Aeros uh, Aero Classics uh, Airbus 320neo I received this a couple of months ago uh, um, and I gotta tell you it is uh, it is a beautiful model uh, I do like uh, the Aero Classics uh, mold, uh, but uh, anyway, let me just uh, show you guys. Uh, turn it around. Uh, show the engines there, and I put it to the side. Um, I know right now I don't have any airport that uh, uh, doesn't fly to JFK, uh, but it will be flying to LAX uh, from Mexico. Uh, I know they just announced it so um, but anyway uh, uh, once I do the LAX uh, you will see it on that airport but uh, I do recommend this model it looks uh, very nice uh, they did a pretty good job on it next model is a uh, Sun Country 737-800 uh, uh, um, I got this uh, thanks to uh, Gemini Jets 1975, one of his videos, he mentioned where he uh, got it from. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, got it at a good price at the Sun Country uh, Airline Store. Um, and it was hard to get so uh, before that, so uh, I actually uh, purchased two of these. Uh, and um, I know they've been having issues with uh, tipping, uh, but uh, I got lucky with both of the models. Uh, they're pretty nice. Uh, I don't have those issues and let me turn it around it is a beautiful model uh, you know I, I do love the these old Gemini jets uh, uh, mold uh, very nice model I do recommend it uh, and uh, I'm glad I got it so uh, let's go to the next model Next is uh, Gemini Jets uh, Delta 767-300 uh, without the winglets. Uh, this model uh, was last month's model um, release. Um, I initially wasn't going to get it because of uh, the fact that it doesn't have winglets. And um, in JFK, you know, they, um, uh, you know, the, the Europe uh, destinations, uh, they do have uh, the ER. And they do fly it with the windlet, so uh, wasn't gonna get it, but I decided to get it anyway. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I did. Uh, it's a nice model, uh, very detailed. Um, I will be, uh, you know, try to keep it domestically. Uh, since the range, uh, it's not, uh, it's not. I think it's about less than four thousand miles. I think it's thirty nine hundred miles, nautical miles. So, uh, but it is. Uh, very nice model, very detailed. Um, I do recommend it. All right, next uh, we got uh, JetBlue uh, Airbus 320 uh, by Gemini Jets uh, this month's uh, release. Um, what can I say about this one? Uh, as you, most of you are aware, I'm not too happy with the the Gemini Jets uh, A320 mold. Um, Something about the nose, uh, is, I don't know, it's pointy. Uh, is it just doesn't look right compared to uh, the old uh, A320 mold? And you know, I I got many of them, and you know, I'm just uh, not happy with it. Um, you know, the detail is very nice on you know the antennas and you know the the main landing gear, um, but. Even then, uh, you know, it just takes away from the, the model. Uh, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, but, you know, this is my favorite airline. I'm, you know, every time uh, 
just lately, uh, the last uh, couple of 320s uh, from, uh, you know, the mold from JetBlue, uh, besides JetBlue, just every 320, 319, uh, just, I don't know, just uh, they need to do something with that, uh, the nose, uh, um, you know, just got that pointy looking uh, nose, it's not, you know, it's, uh, you know, if you look at the old one, the, you know, the, you know, I could just bring one out and show you guys, but you you guys probably have a older model. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, the main landing gear, they're nice. You know, and you know everything else about it is fine. It's just the nose, you know, and it drives me nuts. But you know, let me turn it around. Um, and uh, you know, besides the nose, you know, like um, everything else is fine, but. You know, I will. I will check out the. I will get the Eros Classic and see. Uh, um, you know, see how that one looks. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. Next, uh, we got the Norwegian uh, Seven uh, Thirty Seven uh, Eight Max. Uh, and I gotta tell you, this one is a stunner. I mean, uh, it's. I mean, this is the way a model should should look. You know. Uh, Gemini just did a, has done a great job with the 737s. Uh, uh, basically, uh, the engines, uh, the they look great. The nose <laughs> looks fantastic. Uh, uh, you know, the only issue I think with the with this one was you know the 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 scimitars, the just the paint. I believe they both uh, it's not correct. Uh, then the I think they're supposed to be both red and the middle white. So, but besides that, I mean, everything else is just, uh, you know, it just looks great. I'm very happy with this one. Um, and like I said, Gemini Jets have done uh, a great job with the 737s. Uh, haven't had any issues with them. Uh, I love the way it looks. Uh, and, uh, and actually, uh, they do... Uh, well, not the, not the Max, uh, but the regular 737, uh, they do fly them into the JFK, into the Caribbean. So you will be seeing them. So uh, I would definitely uh, recommend getting this model. Okay, uh, last we got the Allegiant uh, Airbus 319. Um, gotta say this one, um, again, um, besides the issue with the nose, uh, I do like it. Uh, uh, might be a little uh, um, high in the back on the tail, uh, but besides that, it uh, you know it, it it does look better than the JetBlue one. The you know the nose is still a little pointy, but for some reason it doesn't look as bad on on the Legion that it that it does on the JetBlue. Um, and uh, you know, besides that, the the model does look uh, like the paint job on it. Um, so uh, um, the the engines are are right on it. They they look nice. Uh, the winglets uh, and uh, the main landing gears. Um, you know, if it wasn't for the nose. Uh, this would have been an excellent model. So just hope uh, Gemini Jets uh, gets that uh, fix on the on the new mold. I know next month uh, we're going to have the 321 uh, Virgin America coming out. Let's see how that comes out. So, but, uh, okay, that's uh, the last model. I right, just want to give you guys a comparison on the uh, Allegiant uh, that I previously had from Gemini. As you can see, the they both supposed to be uh, CFM uh, engines, and as you can see, the new one does <laughs> looks like a Neo to me. It's uh, it's actually almost uh, twice, uh, not twice, but you know about sixty percent bigger. So I think the that needs to be uh, fixed. Uh, hopefully, on the new, uh, unless they you know they want it to be a uh, a Neo by mistake. I mean, I'm not sure, but. You can see it is uh, 
see if I could get a little closer. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it, it, you know, you could tell it's, uh, it's actually, uh, you know, you could tell the difference. And I was kind of like, when I was looking, I was like, that engine does look too big for uh, the regular uh, CFM. So anyway, just wanted to bring that up. Well, guys, uh, this concludes uh, this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the review of these models. Um, just remember, I do um, uh, JFK uh, realistic uh, model uh, airport updates uh, weekly. Uh, so please, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Until next time, uh, take care.